everybody, welcome back to Mercury Farms with me. See what ESO in this. Start from scratch, hard economic difficulty, let's play series. In the last video, I spent the most part of the day doing some sewing contracts to make ourselves a bit of money, which I've now spent well in excess of by putting down our, our seed production station. I've purchased that and placed that. Um, I have tidied up the fertilizer pallets that were here, hence why that is here, and basically put all the fertilizer into storage. Um, I've then placed me grass drying station if I want to make grass or hay, for, if I want to make hay for whatever reason, and then I've also got me me station here for making um, diesel fuel and pig food for eventually when we get around to doing that. I figured I'd place those into this air, get it all set up and geared up. Um, I have sold off the the silly grain bin thing that I had earlier on in the series. Um, basically I've decided going forward that um, I'm going to use the auger wagon on that on this tray truck. A, because it holds more and because it doesn't tend to tip the truck up when you turn corners <laughs> which is always a bonus uh, can I squeeze I, I probably should have moved these uh, liquid tankers before I come in here anyway we're gonna get the lime spread on our newly seeded not seeded newly plowed fields We may then have to look at maybe doing some um, mowing or something. Can uh, okay. I do a quick GPS course? Because it would make life a little bit easier for me if I had GPS. a lot easier for me and um, right, we just drive along here it shouldn't take too long to lime spread these two in these two fields and then I can switch over get some fertilizer put in here get the fields fertilized get cultivated on top whack down some more fertilizer and then uh, come down here with me cedar sour because obviously we don't have a cedar that does fertilizing so we're going to need to uh, sort that out and address that issue Not sure why that's missed bits should that have missed bits probably not Especially if I'm using GPS, it shouldn't have missed any bits. Hey, see, because it doesn't quite like it for some reason. For some reason, it does tend to go a little bit large. to adjust the auto width on this, you know. Because I think it's not quite picking up the correct width on the uh, lime spreader. No, I've correctly auto whipped. No. Uh, some of these buttons are supposed to shift the core. And if I press the wrong buttons, the course is going completely in fucking tits up. <laughs> oh, 
Control A. Right, Control S. Right, we're going to make that a little bit smaller. Tell you what, I'm, I'm nearly out of fuel in this truck, I've just noticed. I've been doing that many jobs. I've kind of run out of fuel. I have to go and fill up. That'll be expensive. Also, could probably do a bit of maintenance on this vehicle. Good workhorse, though. Like I said, I was thinking about buying another one of these. because we've got plenty of implements and it'd be nice to have a couple of things just hooked up, ready to jump into and uh, drive. Weather hasn't gotten any better today, that is a fact. <laughs> Some farmers are going to really, really struggle because there was a lot of crops that wanted... Um... Why didn't I chop that tree down, given the chance? I wasn't entirely sure how I'm going to work this field when I come to actually harvest it and stuff. I'll probably end up working it top to bottom, north to south sort of thing. In which case I'll probably just harvest in one direction. Start at the top of the field working my way down. Get this field lime spreaded. I've probably put too, way too much lime in this machine. But hey, what we're we gonna do? Right. Now I need to switch fill types, don't I? That's going to be a pain. 9,673 litres of lime. Um, how much have I got in the silo ready to go? I'm producing a fair amount. I think, I think we try and sell some of this, you know, if it'll let me. I believe... I believe we're allowed to sell lime. At the garden centre. I'll check. This is a test. It could go horribly wrong. I could end up with pallets down here at the garden centre then that I can't get rid of. Um, and I'll have to come and empty them by with the um, auger wagon. I think we might be able to sell a few pallets of materials unused materials around the back of the garden centre here on this map because I don't need to lime too often and it's quite easy for me to make lime I just need a couple of tanker forms of water do that problem is now I've kind of got to push. 
pallet into that uh, loading area. Did not take mine. It's genius. That's quite clever, Jim. I'll admit, that is a very handy feature to have on the map. You want to get rid of pallets of stuff. Excess pallet. as heck. We don't get a lot for it. I only get a couple of quid. Lime. It's not terribly um, cost effective perhaps. It didn't cost me anything to make it so it is all profit. It perhaps just doesn't pay very highly. Lime perhaps is one of them things that probably doesn't pay all that highly. Now I can get some fertiliser, slap some fertiliser down on those fields as well. Go over the line with the fertiliser, then we can cultivate, and then we can fertilise again, and then we can slap seed down. Two stage fertilisation. We only need to fertilise while the plants are growing. Perfect. open. I only want a little bit of fertiliser. I don't want too much fertiliser. Too much fertiliser. We've got 375 grand remaining. Right, that's going to make things interesting because, like I say, I wanted to ideally start getting chickens placed today. And chicken coops and stuff. Um, may have to rethink that. Because I'm going to need to buy a harvester. The plan, of course, is to have canola on that big field, and then I can chuck like wheat or stuff down on here, which we can then use for making some um, making some seed. Because seed production's a real thing. A bit like fertilizer, if we can make seed, we can make money.
course, I'll make a bit of money off the grass between the field and come round it with a mower. Drive down there and crash into the shop. Now some of this field will be two stage fertilised already, some of it will only be one staged, I do believe, because of how we mowed it and ploughed it and stuff. But we can check on everything, make sure everything should be good, we don't really need to worry too much. Like I say, get a good bit of uh, stuff produced, we'll be quite happy right. fertilizer applied Still got plenty left in the tank. That's good going. Right, let's have a quick look at con. We might have some contracts for fertilising, which we might be able to do. Uh, no, no fertilising contracts to make use of our fertiliser. It's back over here. What I may just do is unload it. Roll it off the back. Grab the auger wagon then. Reason for that being, I can pick up that fertilizer, that 10,000, rather than waste that 10,000 litres, leave it in the machine, I can transfer it into the seed station. Can't I? Kids, fill this up. Overload it into the seed station, and then when we've got some crop, we can make some fertilizer right away. All comes into the self production aspect of the map. We'll do is we'll like I say I'll fill the org wagon up, get a load in there. As it's raining, I might actually go and grab some um, manure. Do a couple of manure runs down to the uh, animal place. tank of fertiliser please
drop it in here. Wrong station. Where's my seed station? Over there. Unloading. No, it's not the fastest unloading vehicle in the world. But we'll get a bunch of it in there. What I might just do quickly as well, while we're up here, that silo is ready to empty, so I might get the old milling machine hooked up, empty the silo, I can take the silage down to the animal dealer and pick the manure up and come back, make that a bit slightly more efficient run. I'm going to want to pick this up. There's a milling machine. We will uh, uncover the silo. this stuff hopefully into the old wagon a decent pickup range this machine good mod this probably need another one of these for when I'm come to clean my chickens you know Best thing in the world. It struggles a little bit to pick up off the ground. Perhaps. actually more silage in here than I thought. Right, and we'll come back and pick the rest of that up in a bit. <laughs> so I'm going to run down to the animal dealership, unload this, get a uh, load of manure, bring that back, put in the BGA, that'll make me some money then at midnight, which will be handy to repay 
me um, obviously repay some of the bills. The milling machine has its own little like built-in capacity. It's not a lot. It has a little bit in there, I think. Only about 95 litres, but it comes in useful. Piping out. So sixty thousand litres of silage will make us how much money? Sell for more or less here. My gas plant was probably better value for it, to be perfectly honest. The BGA. Otherwise, it's the straw barn. Seven thousand, only seven thousand for that. That is poor. That is quite, quite poor. So we might not be making a lot of silage for sale on the map to the animal dealership. It's probably a good test. Because like I say, that really, six, uh, seven grand for 60,000 litres wasn't really a lot, was it? Admittedly, it's not the best price on the map. We'll have to go tackle the straw barn for that, I think. Spent one thousand five hundred and eighty four on the manure. So let's get that back to the BGA and we'll pick up the rest of the silage and sell it at the straw barn this time. Tomorrow, I probably need to have a look at getting this truck refueled and maybe getting it serviced at the store. Booking it in for its, you know, its seven hour service. It's only done seven hours of work. And it needs a, needs a tune up and a new fuel, new tank of fuel.
pipe out and then we'll try and unload it in here. Could be that's the only problem with the auger wagon, I think. Oh, it does reverse in there, that's all right then. So 60,000 litres of manure should get us a decent price. Looking at that. Get this scooped up. Keep the rest of it up. It should tell me when the bunker is empty. Bunker silo is empty. Good. Get rid of this then at the straw barn. We'll tag it so I know where it is. Down the road apparently. Get rid of this 24,000 litres. The, sh it, the straw ball must be at the shop, man. I'm guessing or the main store. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it's in here. I've never been in here before. Are these doors open? Ooh. That's hand straw there. Oh, you can buy it as well. Okay, interesting concept. Oh, 
I'm guessing we just tip it in here then. Do they only accept bales? Apparently, this buys silage. Um, but it's not doing. That's a bit of a worry. Does it only accept bales then? Because that would be really, really friggin' annoying for me oh no it will bite there if I tip it in there I was getting worried then I was thinking this place doesn't buy silage unless it's in bale form thousand so it's still not great pricing is it for silage so I've got grass field that can't really do much with well unless we do the silage and um, we put it through the BGA turn it into digestate which we can sell or turn in or we can turn the digestate into fertilizer, which we can sell. Set the milling machine back. Park it all up. And uh, probably not going to get a lot more done today with it being rainy. I might have a look at placing a couple of chicken coops quickly. I have bought the land up at the um, top for our, our poultry farm. So I'll run up and we can run up to now. Turn the line, guidance steering lines off. We don't need them at the minute. all the way up here the grass is ready for mowing or will be tomorrow now I own all this land including these silly trees which I may be tempted to come with a brooks and get rid of some of right we're going to have a look at the animal pens now, have we got a... Alien Jim chicken coop? Also, thanks to uh, the guy who gave me the tip about pressing the uh, jump button to uh, basically fast tab to where you need to get to on a map. Fortunately, that means hitting spacebar on the keyboard because unfortunately it doesn't work with a controller because the bu buttons all, all, all share the same uh, configuration. I'm tempted to bring that forward a bit to there. One chicken coop.
two chicken coops. We're making poultry now. We're making our, our chicken coop farm. I think I've rotated that. I didn't really want to rotate it, but anyway. There's three chicken pens. That's 600 chickens. <laughs> Don't want to put another one in. Possibly. Oh, did I want to look at the sheet? Oh, flipping heck. Yeah, I ain't getting that in, am I? I think we can forget about that. Unless we go for one of these traditional ones. We'll think about that. Uh, I was thinking about a house. I could get an alien gym house, but then I need to remove my tent, don't I? We'll get this nice little small farmhouse. Actually put down some bricks and mortar. Um, what I may need, if I've got it, I haven't got it. There's a little silo, isn't there? A little silo that you can store them. Um, little bit of cropping I might have to get that and add that into the next um, just so I've got some somewhere to put I always put one of them down. Which would enable me to come up here and fill up with um, animal supplies if need be. I can drop one of them in. Um... It was just a shame that we couldn't get. I mean, unless we go for a, a, an alien gym sheep pasture. Uh, where does the wall spawn? sheep we'd have 350 sheep which would produce a good bit of wool um, threatening me that I don't own the land but I know for a fact I do Um, to this fence for any reason. More almost into the corner. If I put one of them down, uh, there. Right. 
The next thing then will be to sell off the tent uh, and get a house. Like I say, I've got options. I've got an alien gym farmhouse. Which I could put in here and give myself somewhere to live. Or buy or buy me chickens. I could even put um the trees in me uh, backyard. Some bricks and proper bricks and mortar. Or I could have the little I could have the little farmhouse. Which would be quite unique. Does mean selling off my tent, and I've quite enjoyed my tent. Now I have an alien gym, proper farmhouse, can't we? I could even get some trees in my backyard. Still got room to get vehicles around. Perfect. Here we go. I can come in here. Got me house. Trigger? There is, but I'm not tired. So we can't win that like we can the tent. I can gradually start getting some things shipped up here then, can't I? Right. Let's get some chicken. So we'll have some. So they're 50 quid each. So if I buy 10, that's 500. If I buy 20, that's 1,000. If I buy 30, that's 1,500. If I buy 40, that's 2,000. Uh, we'll get a rooster. All right, brown chickens. Then we've got black chickens. And a rooster. White chickens. And a rooster. So that's 40 odd chickens now. And then if I open this up, what, what, what we got going on in here then? That's not where you load the animals, it's probably where the uh, wall spawns. Got bar bar black sheep. Load in. Grass and water goes out here. Uh, Fifteen on one thousand five hundred. So. Ten of those would be fifteen thousand. Twenty of those would be thirty thousand. Bought one too many. Ninety thousand. One hundred and twenty thousand. And that'll probably be all my money gone. 
nearly all bar 36 grand let's shut that door Is there, was there a door here there was right we'll open that door then so we know where the wall is I'm gonna have to get water and stuff get them fed same with the chickens That's going to be a task then for tomorrow, getting the animals done and sorted. Um, I'm going to make use of living up here now. Park my truck in front of my house. And we're now in a position whereby I can click here and sleep through the night. Six a.m. in the morning, where it stopped raining, thankfully. Right. Thank you, everyone, for watching today's video. I will be back with some more of this Mercury Farms start from scratch, hard economic difficulty playthrough very soon. We will be getting, as I say, the animals fed up, stocked up, and start getting them producing and reproducing. Same with the sheep over here start getting the wool and eggs which will make us a bit more money um, and there are a few other things that we're going to have to do as well we'll be able to mow the grass at some point we will now be able to get the field cultivated and get those fields seeded as I say soil composition it's not looking too bad um, on that front which means we can start we can get our canola planted and our, our wheat and then we'll be able to get um, all that good stuff done and dusted so anyway as I say we've reached the end of the episode I've been CYE so but for now it's goodbye <laughs>